G'day folks. Look, I wanted to give you a quick run over of Benny Mako's from High Range Outdoors SR20. This is a small, small day size pack for, um, for use in the field or in the urban commute, whatever sort of floats your boat. But it's a good little pack. It's very small, very light, 20 as in 20 litres, thereabouts. It can expand if you place on additional pouches on the molly that's liberally sort of spread around a pack. It's quite a nice little pack for that. It's got that ability to expand out to be a good three, four, five day pack if that's what you're prepared to do and travel a little bit light with a, a little less of the creature comforts of life. But otherwise, it's a good pack. It's not designed for heavy, heavy loads. It's got nice, broad, weight distributing straps, but they're not padded out. They're not designed for heavy load carrying. And that's that makes sense, the pack's only a 20 litre pack. It's not designed to be loaded up with 40 kilos of gear. It's got these nice long, um, long equipment sleeves down both sides that allow, you know, some of your machete or a long knife for, you know, for me it's a, it's a camera, camera tripod a lot of the time, goes down in that sort of slot there quite well. This pack frame is all adjustable. There's, it's an internal sort of, um, hardened frame so that it's not not a massive low carrying load weight bearing frame as we said the whole pack's not designed to be that way um, I have had uh, one litre pouches on the front of it so two on the front one on the side I think I think um, high range outdoors makes a whole range of other pouches that go particularly with these packs but I've just used packs uh, pack pouches that I've had and they've all fitted it's molly compatible so it's Able to, be able to have bolt on bolt off sort of capability. Um, they've put in a lot of these compression straps. They're, they've been put in with these quick clip devices. Okay, so these can be just locked on anywhere on the molly, on the webbing, and moved around as you need to. So he's given us at least two of those so they can cinch that whole weight and contents of the container down tight nice and locked in so it's firm and snug on my back in terms of um, the inner components of the pack I won't gonna I'm not gonna go and rip everything out of this but simple little extendable system at the top um, I've using the one I've got here is a roll top so it's good for bush okay it gives me an extra bit of room if I need to um, stack up some extra gear but that extendable system here, you can see three straps there, they will allow that to be just drip, dropped over the top and cinched down. And the closure on this side is another one of these quick, quick clips that um, Ben's been using. So they're just, they're sort of like a, that latch con concept. And they just simply plug in and turn. And to get them off, turn and plug off. Really quick, really easy. And I've been using them now for a little while and I find them really useful out bush and quite utilitarian. Inside the pack here, um, it's, it's got just a, a container space with one large pocket at the back. I've been using that to haul around a small VHF radio system that we use for tracking here at the school. And um, that fits that perfectly and it's nice to snug up against my back so it works really well. But it's primarily designed, I guess, from the recreational point of view of being used for a, a camelback bladder of some, or something of that nature. But it's there. It's, it's a good divider, but it's also a useful partition in terms of the inter internal componentry of, the, of this pack to make it a little bit more utilitarian. So that's the SR20. It's a good little pack made by High Range Outdoors. A lot of thought gone into it. Um, if you're looking for something just for a day pack, for day trips, but th that can be sort of expanded out, it's going to fit the bill nicely for you. Um, I wouldn't use it for carrying massive loads. It's not designed for that. It's a nice, simple, light, utilitarian 20 litre pack, as you'd use any other normal sort of day pack. Um, it's got stuff to, to bolt on extra pouches, but again, you're gonna be always limited by how much you can carry with the associated rig on the back there. But a good little setup from 
our range outdoors who make some good gear. So thanks Ben and um, good luck with selling these. I think they're a great little pack. Have a good one.